Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial I will show you how to create this leafy tornado effect using Unreal Engine 5 Niagara system. Let's jump right in and bring this effect to life. Let's start by creating a new folder. Right click, new folder. Let's call it VFX. Then inside, right click, select Niagara system to create a new Niagara system. Select the empty template and let's call it NS Leaves Tornado. Double click to open it. Let's start by spawning some particles. Go to the emitter update, click on the plus sign and add the spawn rate module. Then under particle spawn, go to the initialize particle module and adjust the particle's lifetime. Set the mode to random instead of direct and set the min max values. Then to adjust the particle size, let's change the sprite size mode to random uniform. In particle spawn, hit the plus sign and search for shape location module. This module will spawn particles randomly in a certain shape. For example, here we have a sphere. We have particles spawned in the form of a sphere. Let's change the shape preview from sphere to cylinder and adjust its height, radius and midpoint parameters. Now we have our particles spawned in the form of a cylinder. Let's add our effect to our scene to have a better preview. Now go back to our Niagara editor and make our cylinder looks like a tornado. Under the shape location module, check the surface only parameter so that particles are spawned only on the surface. Then check the enable lathe profile parameter so that we can adjust the cylinder exterior using a curve. For the curve, select the smooth ramp up template, select the first key, adjust its value to 0.01, .01. add a new key in the middle, adjust its value to 0.4, and now we have our particles forming a tornado shape. Now let's add some forces to our system. Under particle update, hit the plus sign and search for vortex force. Click on the fix issue button to add the missing dependencies. Now we have vortex forces applied on each of the spawned particles. Go back to our Niagara editor. Under particle update, hit the plus sign again and search for wind speed. Click on the Fix Issue button to add the Aerodynamic Drag module and adjust the wind speed to be following the Z axis only. We want particles to go up following the tornado. Now select the Aerodynamic Drag module, click the Fix Issue button to add some missing dependencies. As you can see, we have almost lost the vortex force effect due to the aerodynamic drag. So let's adjust the vortex force amount and increase its value to have the effect back again. Now to make our tornado more realistic, let's add some noise to our particles. Under particle update, search for the curl noise forces and the vector noise forces. Adjust their initial values and put them both above the aerodynamic drag module so that the aerodynamic drag effect is applied on the result force applied on each particles. Now let's spawn meshes instead of sprites. Go to the Niagara system, add the mesh renderer module. For this tutorial, I will be using this mesh I found on Sketchfab, it's a maple leaf. I will be putting the link in the description. Enable Nanite for the mesh to have better performances and put the mesh in the mesh renderer module. Let's disable the sprite renderer module and let's adjust the mesh size. Go to initialize particle module, set the mesh scale mode to random uniform and adjust its min max values. 
Let's make our effect easily adjustable. Go to the spawn rate module, hit the arrow button and select the read from new user parameter. This will allow us to set these parameters from the blueprint. Let's apply the same thing for the cylinder height and radius and the vortex force amount. And now you can adjust these parameters directly from the blueprint and the viewport. That's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Unreal Engine content. See you in the next video.